Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share a really simple oil recipe with you that you can add to your regimen to prevent thinning hair, prevent breakage, also promote faster height growth and help you thicken your hair. So if you are interested, you definitely want to keep on watching. Now this oil if used consistently, you will definitely notice that your hair appears fuller or areas that you have thinning or appear to have lost hair will start to fill up. So it is super, super amazing and it contains only a couple of ingredients that are very, very easy to find. So I do hope that you guys watch to the end of the video. Now, before we get into it, I just want to say a huge thank you if you are a returning subscriber. Thank you so much for your support, guys. And if you're new here, please consider clicking the subscribe button to join the family. I make lots of DIY recipes like this for healthy high growth and maintenance, both for natural and relaxed hair. So if you're interested, definitely join the family. So let's hop right into the video. So the first ingredient we're going to need for today's recipe, guys, will be some onion. Now you can use white onion, just like what I've got here, or you can use red onion as well. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just cut up my onion and then remove the, um, you know, the, the skin that you just don't, don't eat essentially. And then I'm going to cut it into like smaller cubes uh, and put it in a little bowl so you'll get to see that in a little bit. Now onion is super super amazing when it comes to um, preventing breakage and thinning hair. It is very rich in sulfur which essentially gives you know your hair the ability to uh, be stronger and also um, you know prevent, prevent it from breaking. Sulfur is very essential for the regrowth of hair follicles as well and is also loaded with antioxidants that actually help to prevent premature growing of hair. Um, it helps to nourish your hair and prevent hair falls. So onion is really really good. And if you use consistently, you will most definitely notice a huge difference in how your hair looks and also how fast it grows. And just in general, in terms of you know how much it breaks or sort of things out so it's super super amazing and i hope that you guys try this out the only thing about onion is that it does have a really really strong smell um so that's that's the only thing but there are ways that you can um, use to mask the smell um and i'm going to talk a little bit more about it later on so yeah just cut your onion just like i said guys and then we're just going to go ahead and pop it in a little bowl and then we're going to go in with our next ingredient So next we have whole cloves and I got I get this from my Indian store um, close to where I live but you can also find this on Amazon you can also use clove powder if you don't have this um, it will be absolutely fine as well now cloves are super super amazing because it helps to promote hair growth when applied to the roots it can also repair strengthen and add healthy shine to the hair shaft when used regularly so super super amazing so i used about a handful of that now i'm going in here with some olive oil but feel free to substitute this for any other oil of your choice it could be rapeseed oil coconut oil avocado oil or any other oil that you may have available so i'm going to go ahead and give it a good blend using a hand blender until both the onions and the um and the cloves are fully blended and then essentially after that's done i'm just going to go ahead and pop it on a stove um so you want to do this on really really low heat guys really low heat just because of the fact that it's olive oil so you need to be there to stir it occasionally so that it doesn't just burn and this process shouldn't take long at all i think about two to three minutes is enough really so you know this is kind of like ready when it's taken up this color and essentially the oil has floated to the top so that's how you know this is ready and then we're just going to turn off the stove and just allow it to just sit around and cool down and then we're going to go ahead and strain it so to strain it guys i'm using my kitchen paper towel uh, but if you have you know coffee filter or a wig cap 
or a tea towel you can also use it or if you're using kitchen paper towels just make sure that yours is quite strong um yeah so mine definitely is and i've doubled it as well so just pour that on there and then just going to go ahead and give it just a gentle squeeze until you get all the oil out and then you can get rid of the pulp or if you want you can keep it and cook with it we have our oil nice and ready so I'm just going to pop this in a mason jar so that I can store and also um, use it easily now I did talk about the fact that this has quite a strong smell obviously because of the onion and obviously if you are going to use it and leave it in your hair you don't want to go out smelling like a kitchen right um, so there are ways that you can sort of you know um, help with that smell so it could be just using essential oils such as rosemary essential oil or even peppermint essential oil would be really good because that can help mask the smell a little bit and you can also use like fragrance oils if you wanted to um there are some available like vanilla with vanilla flavor vanilla flavor like vanilla smell uh, or mango um they, yeah there are lots of different ones that you can find on amazon so you can just pop a little bit of that in as well as the essential oils just to help with you know with the smell um, and then that's kind of pretty much it and this oil can store in your house in a cool dry place for a really long time more than six months really because it's got little to no water in it at all so in this next part of the video guys i'm going to share with you how to use it now you guys have probably seen this clip already if you watch my previous video um the reason why i did not record one especially for this one is just because of the fact that my hair is currently blow dried and i don't want to wash it essentially because essentially one you what you're going to do after you use this oil guys you will have to wash your hair um, unless you know you you do what I said earlier like you use essential oils or um, what's it called or like fragrance oils just to help to mask the smell a little bit um, so what you need to do guys apply this throughout your hair so focus more on your roots your scalp um, because obviously that's where your hair grows out from and also you can apply to the rest of the hair as well essentially so what I normally do after applying oils to my scalp, I will always make sure I follow with a good massage because that just helps to increase blood flow and that essentially helps to stimulate the follow cause a bit more and promote you know healthy hair growth. So it's super important that you follow this with a good scalp massage as well. Now, just like I said before, um, if you're using it this way, guys, without any like essential oils or fragrance oils. I would definitely suggest that you wash your hair afterwards so you can use it as a pre put type of treatment so you basically just apply it throughout your entire hair and then you go and shampoo your hair and follow with a conditioner um, but you can also use it as just a, a normal hair growth oil and leave in your hair um, but obviously just be mindful that it will probably smell so try those other bits that are mentioned now in case you're wondering how often you should use this if it's as a pre treatment, I guess perhaps once every three to four weeks, depending on how often you wash your hair. And if you use, um, if you're using this as a hair growth oil, then you can use perhaps twice to three times a week. So this is pretty much it for me today. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching the video. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you're not ready. And I'll catch you next time. Bye.